So, good evening all, welcome to Sakal Vijay YouTube channel. So, due to power failure and it was raining more here, so we are not able to give in the in time, but moreover just now the power has come back. So, I started uh, okay in the morning session also uh, due to power failure. I did not continue up to 12 o'clock. Okay. So, today directly I shall move to because already joined uh, most of our regular viewers. Okay, thank you one and all. So, now change of axis. change of axis. So, now the ninth question we need to discuss once again, if the axis, if the axis are rotated or rotated through an angle of 45 degrees and the point and the point P has new coordinates new coordinates two root two comma root two then the original original coordinates coordinates of P r. First option 1 comma 3, second option minus 1 comma 3, third option is 3 comma 1, fourth option 3 comma 3. Okay. If the axis are rotated through an angle of 45 degrees, the P becomes the new coordinates of P are 2 root 2 comma root 2, then original coordinates we need to find out. So, this we need to do. So, first table you take it like this capital X, the capital Y and small x and small y. This will be cos theta this will be minus sin theta, this is sin theta, this will be cos theta. So, now here capital X capital Y given that means you write down like this 2 root 2 here root 2, here angle is how much theta is equal to 45 degrees, theta is 45. So, cos 45 is 1 by root 2 minus sin 45 is minus 1 by root 2, here sin 45 is 1 by root 2, cos 45 is 1 by root 2. This will be small x and small y. So, we need to find out now small x and small y. This small x is equal to you can write capital X cos theta 2 root 2 into 1 by root 2, 2. Uh, next we have capital X, uh, this is small x is equal to capital X into cos theta minus capital Y sin theta. So, that means actually here minus root 2 into 1 by root 2, that will be minus 1. So, you get 1. So, now Y equals to, so this into this 2 root 2 into 1 by root 2, that will be 2. So, this will be root 2 into 
1 by root 2 plus 1 equals to 3. So, that means, original coordinates are 1 comma 3. So, that means, first option is the right option. Okay. Video will be coming actually I will check the video also here do not worry. Wait one minute I will check. Okay, it is good it is good here right. So, morning actually we did not uh, solve the problem I could remember we did not solve it now right. next tenth question tenth question the angle of the angle of rotation the angle of rotation of axis of axis in order to in order to or so as to in order to eliminate eliminate second degree term that is x y term x y term of the equation of the equation x square plus 2 root 3 x y minus y square equal to 2 a square is first option is pi by 6, second option is pi by 4, third option is pi by 3, fourth option is pi by 2. See the angle of rotation of axis in order to eliminate second degree term x y from the equation x square plus 2 root through 2 root 3 x y minus y square is equal to 2 a square. So, that means, now we need to compare this to a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to something constant, then a value 2 h value b value we need to write and theta need to be now evaluated now here. See, first this equation is to be comparing to comparing with the comparing with the a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to something constant see. So, now here a equals to x square coefficient is 1, 2 h equals to 2 root 3 and b equals to minus 1. Now, the angle of rotation, angle of rotation, angle of rotation that means, axis are to be rotated with an angle of theta is equal to this is theta equal to half tan inverse of 2 h upon a minus b. So, respective values need to be now replaced of tan inverse of 2 h is 2 root 3 by a stands for 1 minus b already b is minus 1 minus into minus plus. So, that is half tan inverse of 2 root 3 by 2 root 3 tan inverse root 3 is 60 degrees 1 by 2 into 60 means pi by 3. So, this equal to pi by 6 30 degrees. So, the angle of rotation is 30 degrees. One minute right option 1. Right. So, 
So, next question now. Eleventh one the angle of rotation, the angle of rotation, the angle of rotation of axis of axis of axis to remove. to remove or eliminate both are same x y term x y term of the equation of the equation x y is equal to c square is first one is pi by 12 that is 15 degrees. Second one is okay. Second one is pi by 6. Third one is pi by 3. Fourth one is pi by 4. So, now the angle of rotation of axis to remove the x second degree term from the equation x y is equal to c square. Now, comparing with the comparing with the so this equation need to be compared with a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to something constant. Here a equals to x square coefficient of cent 0, 2 h is equal to 1 x y coefficient b is equal to 0. So, that means actually here we have the angle of rotation theta is equal to 45 degrees providing a equals to b here c a equals to b. So, therefore, the angle of rotation is 45 degrees. One minute. Right. So, now next question follows <coughs> twelfth problem twelfth okay. problem. the origin the origin okay the origin shifted to shifted to 1 comma 2 then the then the equation then the equation y square minus 8 x y square minus 8 x minus 4 y plus 12 is equal to 0 changes as 
changes as or changed as no problem y square is equal to 4 a x then a equals to then a first option 1 second option 2 third option is minus 2 fourth option is minus 1 see now the origin is shifted to 1 comma 2 that means this is the origin h comma k then this equation is changed to y square is equal to 4 ax form then we need to find out a value so that means first let us write this one as like this y square minus 4 y equals to 8 x minus 12 write down this is not a perfect square to make it a perfect square let us write like this y square minus 2 into y into 2 here actually b square term is absent 2 square add 4 on both sides 8 x minus 12 plus 4 now this can be written as y minus 2 whole square equals to 8 x minus 8 take 8 common this is x minus 1 now when the origin is shifted to this point now the small x becomes capital x plus h that means capital x plus 1 small y becomes capital y plus k where k is equal to 2 y capital y plus 2 so now the transformed equation new equation is in the place of y write down y plus 2 in the place of x write down x plus 1 we get now y plus 2 minus 2 whole square equals to 8 times capital x plus 1 minus 1 this this gets cancelled we have y square is equal to 8 x now this is being compared to compared to this equation now so now 4 a is equal to this 8 since 4 a is equal to 8 we know that a is equal to 2 that is all so second option is the right option right ok <coughs> so next let us move to the next problem now right so 13th problem Hmm? Check this. Check this. No. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. In that only it works for that one only. Right. Thirteenth one. by translation of translation of axis translation of axis the equation the equation x y minus x plus 2 y minus 6 is equal to 0 changed as changed as x y is equal to c form then c equals to 
then c equals to first option is 4 second option is 5 third option is 6 fourth option is 7 so that means this question is very very important question by translation of axis the equation becomes x y is equal to c so that means first degree terms have been actually here eliminated so that means so as to eliminate first degree terms to which point origin is to be shifted that we need to find out first of all so that means now this equation comparing with the comparing with the 2hxy plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0. Here we get 2h is equal to 1, h equals to 1 by 2, 2g is equal to minus 1, g equals to minus 1 by 2. Next 2f equals to 2 f is equal to 1. Now, the origin origin that is h comma k equal to. So, that is minus f by h comma minus g by h substituting. So, minus 1 by f is 1 minus 1 here now h is 1 by 2 and next minus g minus of minus plus of by h is of. So, this can be written now minus 2 comma 1. So, that means now we need to change this equation now. This equation can be written. So, now the small x we can write capital X plus h that is capital X minus 2 and small y is equal to we can write capital y plus k y plus 1. So, now the transformed equation transformed equation is x y x minus 2 into y plus 1 minus of x minus 2 plus 2 into y plus 1 minus 6 equals to 0. Now, x y plus x minus 2 y minus 2 product of these two and minus x plus 2 plus 2 y plus 2 minus 6 is equal to 0. Now, we need to simplify x x gets cancelled 2 y 2 y gets cancelled and 2 uh, this 2 gets cancelled. We have x y is equal to 4. So, already given that x y is equal to c, if you compare c value will be 4, c value will be 4. So, first option is the right option. One minute. So, now fourteenth question, fourteenth question. Dhruvamsh actually here, please have gone through your requisitions. So, let the program actually session will be continued. So, you put in the comment box this one. Right. When 0, comma 0 shifted to shifted to 
3 comma minus 3 the coordinates of the coordinates of P Q R R phi comma phi and minus 2 comma 4 and 7 comma minus 7. In the new system, new system R A B C the area of triangle ABC first option 43 second option 23 third option is 45 fourth option is 50 fourth option is 50 right so now if you read carefully we will get idea so even i didn't get the clarity about this problem so please let me read out the question first of all when 0 comma 0 shifted to 3 comma minus 3 the coordinates of p comma q comma r phi comma phi minus 2 comma 4 and 7 comma minus 7 in the new system or a comma b comma c that means actually the coordinates of p comma q comma r becomes capital a capital b capital c having been originally shifted to 3 comma minus 3 then the area of triangle abc you need to find out here a small actually uh, hint is there so let me check in the software now here we have one software let me explain here so now what are the points now tell me here phi comma so let us look at the points now what are the points phi comma phi this is phi this phi comma phi okay this is a phi comma phi okay next point is what minus 2 comma 4 minus 2 comma 4 this is minus 2 comma 4 so next point is what 7 comma minus 7 7 comma minus 7 7 comma minus 7 7 comma minus 7 wait this is 7 comma minus 7 this is 7 comma minus 7 ok so these are the points now here now let us construct a triangle now So, let us construct a triangle. So, like this now. For example, even origin is shifted to any point, you remember one thing here.
e when origin is shifted to any point for example, this so this area of the triangle will not change area of the triangle will not change. So, that is why now so that means here the area of triangle PQR is same as area of the triangle ABC area formed by the points PQR is same as area formed by the three points ABC itself only. That means you need not find out A you need not find out B you need not find out C. So, directly area of triangle PQR find out that is equal to ABC even though even if you shift the origin it would not change it would not change. So, that means now here So, now here area of triangle ABC is same as area of triangle PQR. So, here I will explain one shortcut method. So, here what is the shortcut method means in order to find out area of the triangle from all the points first this point P point and Q point and R point subtract phi comma phi. That means, subtract phi comma phi from phi comma phi you get that point becomes 0 comma 0 that means, one of the vertices becomes origin. Next minus 2 comma 4 minus phi comma phi that is minus 7 comma minus 1. Now, this point becomes 7 minus phi 2 comma minus 12. Now, area of the triangle formed by these points find out that is half mod we have the formula x 1 y 2 minus x 2 y 1 this is half mod x 1 means minus 7 multiplied by y 2 means minus 12 and minus x 2 is 2 into y 1 is we have minus 1. So, this equal to half multiplied by 84 plus 2 that is 86 by 2 which value is 43. So, our answer is 43. First option is the right option. Okay. So, now let us move to the fifteenth problem. Fifteenth problem. The transformed the transformed equation of equation of x square plus 6 x y plus 8 y square is equal to 10 8 y square is equal to 10 when the axis when the axis are rotated or rotated rotated through an angle through an angle phi by 4 is Okay, first option. First option is 15x square minus 14xy 
plus 3 y square is equal to 20. Second one 15 x square plus 14 x y minus 3 y square equal to 20. Third option 15 x square plus 14 x y plus 3 y square equal to 20. Fourth option 15 x square minus 14 x y minus 3 y square is equal to 20. So, this I will give the suggestion to you and you, you do it at your home. So, that means what to do? That means now you need to find out the new coordinates and you need to substitute in the given equation you get the transformed equation. So, that is why actually we need to do like this capital X capital Y small x small y this is cos theta minus sin theta differentiation of cos sin theta and sin theta differentiation cos theta. So, now here capital X capital Y 45 degrees cos 45 is 1 by root 2 sin 45 is minus 1 by root 2 minus sin, for, minus sin 45 sorry here sin 45 is 1 by root 2 cos 45 is 1 by root 2. So, this is small x and small y. Now, the x becomes x by capital X by root 2 minus capital Y by root 2 capital X minus Y by root 2. Now, small y becomes capital X plus y by root 2. So, these two values need to be substituted in this one and get simplify you will get the answer. Okay? You try it. Next 16th problem. when the axis when the axis are rotated rotated through an angle through an angle Okay, throw an angle of alpha. The transformed, the transformed, the transformed equation of equation of x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p is first option x is equal to p second option y is equal to p third option x plus p is equal to 0 fourth option y plus p is equal to 0. This is the question. Right. When the axis are rotated through an angle of alpha, then we need to find out the transformed equation of x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p. So, that means actually given here angle of rotation theta is equal to alpha. So, now the we can find out equations of transformation capital X capital Y small x small y. This is cos alpha minus sin alpha here sin alpha 
here cos alpha. So, now we get a small x is equal to capital X cos alpha minus capital Y sin alpha. In the similarly, what is small y? x into sin alpha, x sin alpha plus y cos alpha. These two equation, these two values are to be substituted in this equation. Now, the transformed equation, transformed equation is now cos alpha into small x, this value x cos alpha minus y sin alpha into cos alpha plus in the place of y x sin alpha plus y cos alpha into sin alpha equal to p. So, now we get here cos alpha into x cos alpha x cos square alpha minus y sin alpha into cos alpha minus y sin alpha cos alpha plus we have capital X sin square alpha x sin alpha into sin alpha plus y cos alpha into sin alpha y sin alpha cos alpha equal to p here plus y sin alpha cos alpha minus y sin alpha cos alpha gets cancelled. If you take x common, we have cos square alpha plus sin square alpha equal to p. So, this equals to 1 we know. So, x is equal to p. Locus of x is equal to p is the first option, is the right option. So, this is very lengthy method understood now. So, without doing just by observation of the figure, we can tell the answer. So, now that let us do it now, that I will explain, but it is not functioning, let us I, I will check now here. Okay, now, okay, first I will take uh, one line segment, this is the equation of the line x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p. So, next drop the perpendicular. So, new axis rotation. Okay, let me explain now. See this is x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p. So, generally this is perpendicular x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p is the normal form. So, this distance is here to here is p and this angle will be alpha. Now, the axis are rotated angle alpha, this is a new axis, this is capital X, this is capital Y, capital Y. You see now, this is the required equation, required equation is parallel to the new Y axis and at a distance of P. So, now this equation becomes with respect to the new axis capital sorry X is equal to capital X is equal to P the equation of the line parallel to the y axis is in the form of x is equal to constant which is at a distance of p x is equal to p. So, therefore, answer is x is equal to p that is all very simple manner we can do this problem.
So, let us move to the next question. Seventeenth question The angle of rotation, the angle of rotation, the angle of rotation. Okay, angle of rotation of axis of axis so that so that root three x minus y plus one equal to zero transformed. Transformed as y is equal to k. That means here x term has been missed or eliminated. Is first option pi by six. Second option is pi by four. Third option is pi by three. Fourth option is pi by two. So that means the angle of rotation of axis so that the x term will be eliminated from root three x minus y plus one is equal to zero. Then what is the angle of rotation? As it is put in the form of y is equal to k means. X term has been eliminated, so that means we have one shortcut already we have discussed. For example, if a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero, is transformed to y is equal to k. The angle of rotation theta is equal to tan inverse of minus a by b. Minus a by b. That means now we need to compare this equation with comparing with comparing with this equation. A x plus b y plus c equals to zero. General equation of a straight line. A equals to root three. B equals to minus one. C is not necessary for us. Theta is equal to angle of rotation is equal to tan inverse of minus a by b. So that is tan inverse of minus root three by minus one. That is tan inverse root three. Tan inverse root three equals to sixty degrees pi by three. So angle of rotation is pi by three. Third option. Venkateshwar Lu Narla, this is the last warning to you. Venkateshwari, Narla Venkateshwari, this is the last warning to you. You will be today eliminated, just like so. <laughs> this chapter, understood now. This chapter is only elimination of the terms. Eighteenth one. Okay. The angle of the angle of rotation. The angle of rotation of axis. Of axis, so that so that two x plus three y plus seven is equal to zero 
transformed as <coughs> transformed as x is equal to k is that means here the y term has been eliminated first option tan inverse of 3 by 2 second option tan inverse of minus 2 by 3 third option pi by 4 fourth option is pi by 6. So, now the angle of rotation of axis so that 2 x plus 3 y is equal to 7 is equal to 0 transformed as x is equal to k. So, if it is put in the form of x is equal to k let me discuss the shortcut if a x plus b y plus c is equal to 0 to be put in the form of x is equal to k the angle of rotation theta is equal to tan inverse this will be b by a for y is equal to k means tan inverse of minus a by b. Here this equation need to be compared to this equation a equals to 2 b equals to 3 the angle of rotation theta is equal to tan inverse of 3 by 2. So, first option is the right option. Okay. Right. So, let us move to the next problem. So, 19th question, 19th question. Nineteenth one. The transformed, the transformed. the transformed equation of equation of x square by a square x square by a square minus y square by b square equals to 1 equals to 1 when the axis are rotated rotated through an angle 90 degrees is first option x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to 1. Second option x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. Third option y square by b square minus x square by a square equal to 1. Fourth option y square by a square minus x square by b square is equal to 1. Okay. Go plus 3. Right. See the angle of rotation is 90 degrees. The transformed equation of x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to 1. 
when the axes are rotated through an angle of 90 degrees angle of 90 degrees that means the capital x capital y capital x capital y small x small y here cos 90 cos 90 is 0 minus sin 90 minus 1 sin 91 cos 90 0 that means here small x becomes minus capital y small y becomes capital x so very simple in the place of x y substitute in the place of y x substitute the equation transformed equation transformed equation is here we get like this y square by a square minus here you will be getting x square by b square is equal to 1. So, which is the right option now? Fourth option will be the right option. Okay. So, that means actually here you remember one thing whenever 90 degrees means whenever angle of rotation theta is equal to 90 degrees means you remember this one x equals to minus y substitute So, whenever theta is equal to 90 degrees, so you remember this condition x should be replaced by minus y and y should be replaced by x in the given equation that we need to remember. The question number 20, the question number 20, the line joining, the line joining, the line joining two points, two points a 2 comma 0 b 3 comma 1 3 comma 1 is rotated is rotated rotated is rotated about a about a in anti clockwise direction direction throw throw an angle of 15 degrees if b goes to if b goes to c then c is equal to then coordinates of c first option 2 plus 1 by root 2 comma 
root of 3 by 2, second option 2 plus 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2, third option root 2 minus 1 comma root 3 by 2, fourth option root 2 minus 1 by 2, root 2 by 3, this is the question. Okay, now, the line joining two points A 2 comma 0, B 3 comma 1 is rotated about A in anti clockwise direction through an angle of 15 degrees. If B goes to C, then coordinates of C we need to find out. So, that means, the line joining the points these two rotated about A in the anti clockwise direction with an angle of 15 degrees, then B moves to C, then coordinates of C we need to find out now. Okay, now, let us do this question now, see this is for example, say this is A, this is B. So, now this line segment is rotated with an angle of 15 degrees. So, now it moves to C, then C coordinates you need to find out. Here A is 2 comma 0 and B is 3 comma 1. So, what about C? This is the question mark. Okay. So, now this can be explained better with the help of this one. See what are the coordinates actually here? A 2 comma 0, A 2 comma 0 means lies on x axis. So, next point is 3 comma 1, 3 comma 1 means here only, 3 comma 1 okay. and rotated so rotated with some angle. So, now this point is A, this point is B. So, now here this point is say A, this point is B, this point is C. Now, this angle is equal to given 15 degrees. Now, you can find out this angle. This angle is made by A B with x axis that means, we need to find out slope. Now, slope of A B, slope of A B, say that is tan theta for example. What is slope of A B here? A coordinates are 2 comma uh, 0, 2 comma 0 and this is 3 comma 1, B coordinates are slope is 1 minus 0 by 3 minus 2 that will be 1. So, that means, theta is equal to 45 angle of inclination this 45 total this angle will be 60 degrees. The A C makes with x axis with uh, x axis this is x axis. So, this total angle will be 60 degrees. So, now length of A B distance also we need to find out. A B distance is equal to 3 minus 2 1 plus 1 minus 1 1 under root 2. that will be root 2. So, now let us move to here now. So, now let us do here I will explain now here. 
So, total this is making 60 degrees with the x axis. Now, a b distance is equal to c 3 minus 2 1 square 1 1 minus 0 1 that will be root 2. This distance will not change a c distance also root 2. Now, it is making 60 degrees that means, now we need to find out coordinates of c which are at a distance of 2 comma 0 making theta angle with x axis that means, we need to apply parametric equations that means, for example, c is equal to say x comma y say this is equal to r value 2 this is theta value theta 60 degrees we can write this one x 1 plus r cos theta comma y 1 plus r sin theta. So, this is x 1 comma y 1. So, we can write now 2 plus r is root 2 cos 60 root 2 into cos 60 is root 3 by 2 comma y 1 means 0 plus r is 2 root 2 sorry cos 60 is 1 by 2 1 by 2 this is root 3 by 2. So, now we can write this is equal to 2 plus root 2 by 2 means 1 by root 2 this will be uh, now we can write this is 2 2 gets cancel not uh, sorry 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 1 minute 1 minute 1 minute I did mistake. So, 1 minute r value will be root 2 into root 3 by 2. So, now root 3 by root 2 means this we can write root 3 by root 2. So, this equals to 2 plus 1 by root 2 comma root of 3 by 2. So, that means first option is the right option. Okay. Right, next problem. Twenty first problem. So, one minute. So, now actually in the last class what happened means we have not discussed some of the locus problems just we have the three problems that we will complete it now locus problems. Okay. Locus leftover problems. So, I do not have the question number idea. So, better I can say like this now. Okay, 21 keep it up no problem. Let a equals to 2 comma 5 tomorrow I am going to start new chapter that is second year chapter. Okay. Right and b equals to 4 comma minus 1 or 2 vertices 2 vertices 2 vertices of a triangle abc 
ट्रैंगल ए बी सी थर्ड वर्टेक्स थर्ड वर्टेक्स थर्ड वर्टेक्स सी मूस सी मूस एलॉन्ग एलॉन्ग एल इक्वल्स टू नाइन एक्स प्लस सेवन वाई प्लस फोर इक्वल्स टू जीरो द लोकस ऑफ द द लोकस ऑफ द सेंट्राइड सेंट्राइड ऑफ ट्रैंगल एबीसी ट्रैंगल एबीसी इज दिस इज द क्वेश्चन What is this of a triangle ABC? Okay, let A is equal to two comma five and B is equal to four comma minus one are the two vertices of a triangle ABC. Third vertex C moves along the line nine x plus seven y plus four is equal to zero. Then the locus of the centroid of triangle ABC we need to find out. Okay, right. So now. The first one, nine x minus seven y minus twenty two equals to zero. Second one, nine x plus seven y plus twenty two equals to zero. Third option, twenty seven x. Plus twenty one y minus seventy seven equals to zero. Fourth option twenty seven x plus twenty one y minus seventy eight equals to zero. Yes, Surya Prakash, take it granted. Right. Don't give the numbers and etc. ओके ए इक्वल्स टू टू कामा फाइव बी इक्वल्स टू फोर कामा माइनस वन आर द टू वर्टिसेस ऑफ ट्रायंगल एबीसी थर्ड वर्टेक्स मूव्स ऑन दिस लाइन देन द लोकस ऑफ द सेंट्रेड ऑफ ट्रायंगल एबीसी वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट सो लेट अस डू इन सेपरेट पेज ओके so now let us construct uh, this is not working let it be stopped now leave it now right say this is triangle abc let us say this is c vertex c this is moves on this one like this on this line this line is 9x okay 9x plus 7y plus 4 equals to 0 here vertex a given that 2 comma 5 and b vertex given that 4 comma minus 1 C vertex is not given. Then the what we need to find out now here locus of the centroid. We do not know the centroid. This is the centroid. Let us say E G. Say this is x comma y. Locus of x comma y we need to find out. See one thing you remember. <coughs> okay. Now one thing you remember whenever two vertices and centroid is given. third vertex we can find out using simple this formula c is equal to 3 centroid 
minus sum of the given vertices this you remember shortcut so 3 times g that means 3 of x comma y treat as a 1 by 2 matrix this is 1 row 2 column minus you need to add these two vertices 2 plus 4 6 comma 4 this we can write now 3x minus 6 comma 3y minus 4 this is the c what x c but it lies on this curve substitute in this one so now we get like this required locus is 9 into 3 x minus 6 because c lies on that line 7 multiplied by 3 y minus 4 plus 4 equal to 0 let it be simplified 27 x minus 54 plus 21 y minus 28 plus 4 equals to 0. Now, the 27 x plus 21 y. So, minus 54 28 how much 12 82 ok 82 4 78 this will be minus 78 equals to 0. So, which is the right option now? Which is the right option? This fourth option is the right option. Okay, it might be there. Twenty-second problem. Okay. Let A two comma three B minus two comma one. B vertices vertices of a triangle of a triangle ABC. If the centroid if the centroid of this triangle of this triangle moves on the line on the line 2x plus 3y equals to 1 then the locus then the locus of the vertex c is this is the question right first option 3x plus 2y equal to 5. Second option 2x minus 3y equals to 7. Third option 2x plus 3y 
equals to 4, fourth option 2x plus 3y equals to 9. So, this is somewhat different from the previous problem. This, this is actually somewhat different from the previous problem. Here a 2 comma 3 b minus 2 comma 1 are the vertices of triangle ABC centroid of this triangle this time not the vertex C centroid of the triangle moves on the line 2 x plus 3 y is equal to 1 then the locus of the vertex C. Now, we need to say C is equal to x comma y we need to find out the centroid and substitute the centroid in the given line then you get the answer. So, that means now let us do in separate page this is the triangle A B C A coordinates are 2 comma 3 B coordinates are minus 2 comma 1 the locus of C we need to find out x comma y centroid means the point of intersection of the medians say G we do not know this moves on the line 2 x plus 3 y is equal to 1. First let us find out centroid G is equal to formula we know x 1 plus x 2 plus x 3 upon 3 that means this is nothing but uh, arithmetic mean of x coordinates by arithmetic mean of ordinates y 1 plus y 2 plus y 3 by 3 correct. So, now this is equal to 0 plus x by 3 directly I am writing this will be 4 plus y by 3 this will be x by 3 comma y plus 4 by 3 according to the problem it lies on this line ok. So, now the locus of C is 2 times x by 3 plus 3 times y plus 4 by 3 equals to 1 multiply 3 on both sides 2 x plus 3 y plus 12 equal to 3 that implies 2 x plus 3 y equals to 9. So, which is the right option? So, which is the right option? Fourth option is the right option. Dhruvamsh definitely will become a good leader. I hope so. Next question, so today we are going to, we are in the last laps, 23rd question or 24th, okay 24th leave it no problem whatever question may be, right. Okay, we need to change the option now here better it is correct minus 9 is correct right.
Okay. Twenty fourth question. The equation. The equation. x minus 2 whole square plus y square under root plus x plus 2 whole square plus y square under root. equals to 4 represents represents what does it represent first one a pair of lines a pair of lines second a pair uh, a parabola third one a line segment a line segment fourth one a circle <coughs> so now it appears to be like this first let us write this one as x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square write down. This is nothing but distance between x comma y to 2 comma 0 point. This can be written x minus of minus 2 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square equal to 4. So, this is nothing but distance from x comma y to b point that means it is seems to be rather p a plus it seems to be rather p b equal to 4. Here a equals to the point is 2 comma 0 b point will be minus 2 comma 0. Now, this is k distance between these two points let us find out a b is equal to since x coordinates are different y coordinates are same that is mod of x 2 minus x 1. So, mod of minus 4 equal to 4 that means here a b k equals to a b therefore, it represents a line segment if k greater than a b that is ellipse. So, that means a line segment these questions are very very important some more problems you need to practice this ok this is end today the class thank you one and all bye see you See, I could remember the problems, leftover problems in each chapter also. So, that will be on fine morning, I will complete all the problems also. Do not worry.